See, when we study evolutionary biology, we come to know about certain external forces which are responsible for evolutionary changes. These forces are mutation, selection, genetic drift, and migration. So out of these four major factors, if we consider selection, then this aspect is talked in various ways. Here I am going to talk about R selection, which is also known as semel parity, and the other one is K selection, that is itero parity. So these two terms are in fact taken or considered uh, with respect to reproductive strategies. So let us see the meaning of these two terms, what exactly these two terms mean. Before I explain it, these are two figures, two animals are actually shown. In this left side, you can see a fish which is Pacific salmon. There are several species of salmon. These fishes, particularly this Pacific salmon is anadromous. Anadromous means it is a migratory fish it migrates from sea to freshwater area for reproduction purpose. So it is anadromous fish. It breeds once in its lifetime, produces thousands of eggs, and then this fish dies. Okay, so uh, this fish actually, uh, it is found in oceanic areas, in marine conditions. It takes four or five years to get complete mature. And after gaining maturity, it will migrate to rivers where it will spawn. And as I just mentioned, it lays thousands of eggs once in her lifetime and then she dies. Now, the other one is an elephant. This animal matures in about 10 to 15 years, survives for several years and produces just few progeny, few babies during her entire lifetime. So we find that uh, one animal is surviving for a short period of time producing large number of progeny, whereas the other one is surviving for a very long period of time producing just few ones. So that is why I just said that these two aspects R selection and K selection are a kind of reproductive strategy. So let us understand the difference between these two kinds of selection. In case of R selection, if we consider the reproductive aspect, we find that semel paris or semel parity shows high reproductive rates. They produce many of his spring during their short span of life. Whereas heteroparous organisms are those which produce just few of his spring, but invest heavily for each of his spring. For each progeny, such animals invest a lot of their energy. Regarding lifespan, lifespan of uh, our selection animals or even other organisms, not only animals, even plants you can consider, their life is of short duration and they mature very quickly like certain insects are there, they hatch out from the puparium and immediately they can participate in reproduction. Whereas those who show case selection, they have longer life span and mature very slowly. Regarding parental care, each offspring in case of our selection receives minimum parental care or in several cases, no parental care at all or no investment. Whereas in case of case selection, each of his spring receives significant parental care and investment. Regarding environment, in case of R selection, chances of survival are very low, but rapid reproduction allows them to use available opportunities. Whereas in case of case selection, competition for resources is very high and survival of offspring is more dependent on competition and care. There are certain uh, things mentioned in this you know, presentation, like example you can consider. I just cited the example of salmon fish and elephant. Salmon is the example of R selection, whereas for case selection, I cited the example of elephant. 
here other in animals you can consider like insects are there they have very short lifetime and during that they produce large number of progeny so insects like flies annual plants we have certain you know plants which are grown in ag agricultural fields like wheat plant you can say they also produce large number of seeds in a small period of time and several marine organisms are there which show our selection for case selection one can cite the example of humans which survive for uh, 70 80 90 even 100 years of life but produces just few progeny there are cattle many uh, large mammals are there and even birds which show case selection regarding adaptive advantage it is advantageous i mean to say our selection is advantageous in environments where conditions are unpredictable and mortality rates are high whereas case selection is the case in which this is advantageous in each environments where competition is fierce and resources are limited as a whole we can summarize that our selection that shows short lifetime reproduction is just once means they reproduce once or maybe twice in their life in a short life large number of progeny progeny are produced by them they have high reproduction rates and show no parental care whereas in case of case selection uh, the life will be quite long multiple reproduction occurs in them few progeny are produced low reproduction rates and high parental care or investment but see there are several organisms in which these two conditions may not be met because if we consider the example of suppose mango tree mango tree survives for a very long period of time for several years it survives and almost every year it gives fruits hundreds of you know fruits are uh, could be obtained from a single plant so here in case of mango neither this our selection condition operates nor case selection so these two uh, are the situations for some kind of animals belonging to invertebrate or vertebrate groups but it's not means these two situations are not applicable for every kind of organism okay so this one should keep in mind that we find these are two uh, major reproductive strategies shown by several forms of organisms